Hello guys, Pugaming here and welcome to this tutorial on how to create realistic towns and villages. Now I would like to start this tutorial off by saying no I am not an expert in this matter but I wanted to share with you some hints and tricks that I've learnt on my journey to creating more realistic towns and villages. But before I go ahead and share my ideas, let me know in the comment section below what you do to make your build more realistic. And if you find this video useful, I would appreciate if you would hit that like button and if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. Now, before we do anything, we need to do some planning. Over the years, I have learned that planning before you build is so important and it really helps with the workflow of your build. I remember the days back when I used to first play this game, I didn't plan one little bit. I didn't even have an idea of what I was gonna be placing down first. The first road always seemed like such a difficult thing to do and it was a struggle to really get a build going. Planning really does help from the offset and there's a few things we need to really consider before we even start to place down that first road. Location. The location is always going to be a key aspect for you to decide very early on and it's something that I've already got in my head before I even consider opening up the game. You'll need to consider exactly where you're going to be basing this build on. For example, a little town or village in the UK is going to look a lot different to a little village in town, perhaps in the United States or over in Australia. So knowing your environment, knowing how your build looks is always going to be key to making things more realistic. And there's an easy and simple way to develop those skills, and that is by using Google Earth. Google Earth is the essential tool to creating these realistic builds. For me, Google Earth is open on my second monitor every time I play the game. Even if I'm not using it, it's there for a reference point, and it is so, so useful. As you may already be aware, I've been recreating Monaco, and Google Earth has been absolutely sensational in allowing me to do that. Now, Google Earth is there as a reference point. Even when I'm recreating Monaco, it's never exactly the same because it's not possible within the core of this game. But it's been a great tool and certainly one that you should consider using if you haven't already. Once you've decided the sort of build you're looking to achieve here, the next thing is to decide what you're gonna be building exactly. Is it gonna be a small town? Is it gonna be a village? Or is it gonna be going the other direction into more of a city? Now the main differences to consider is a village is typically a small community within a rural area, whereas a town is a bit more populated area with fixed boundaries and a local government. Now of course there's always going to be exceptions, there could be a large village that could be considered a town, or perhaps a small town that could be considered a village. Nevertheless, there are certain traits that each one of these have that are useful to put in to make your builds more realistic. But how do we begin? Everyone's journey in this game is going to be different. For me, I like to start with the road layout. For me personally, the road layout is the artery of the whole build. You get this right and the build itself will flow from it. So what do we need to consider? We need to make sure that the actual road layout we're placing down is following the same theme as what we're building upon. For example, a UK networked road would be very different to one over in the United States. But not only that, depending on where we're building, it also depends on what type of village or town we're building. For example, a town is gonna to have a lot more network of roads going around as opposed to a small rural village. As well as a network, it's also worth considering in detail what type of roads you're gonna lay down. Are they gonna be the rural single lane roads or are they gonna be more heavily industrial roads with car parking spaces across? Each road will have its purpose and each purpose will have its location. So make sure you consider that as well. Another thing to consider would be the fact of the actual parking for these locations. Do the houses have on-site parking? Do they park on the roads? Or do they have their own car parking lot? Each house has to have somewhere surely to park their car. And just adding things like this again creates to the realism of your build. Another thing to consider would be the development of these towns and villages. And what I mean by that is, of course, a village can quite easily turn into a town. And it's quite evident when you're looking around certain locations that you can see how things have changed over time. Villages extend, housing estates get built upon it. It then turns into more of a town. So that's one thing to consider. And that's also a very useful thing on when you're designing your actual road layout to consider those options and think about what was this like before? How has it developed? and grow your town or village from there. Once this is done, the next thing to consider 
is the real life necessities of your build. So what we're talking about here is a village, for example, is only gonna really have maybe a small shop, a post office, maybe a small police and fire station, if that, some schools, and obviously a lot less houses than what it would be for a town. A town is more likely to have a lot more, it's gonna have more of a commercial area as well, a lot more houses built up, a lot more dense, but obviously not too much that it turns into a city. And these are really good things to consider to create that realism in your build. There's been so many times where I've worked on a small village or a small town and I've literally just put down houses, which is not really realistic. Forgetting to put down the likes of schools and police stations and a train station. These are all things you expect to see in these sort of environments. I would also suggest looking at Street View as well on Google Maps and Google Earth to try and have a look around what sort of buildings there are. Walk around your own town, walk around those few villages and have a look what there is around and it'll be interesting to see if you can replicate that and make your builds feel more realistic. The next important thing to consider is how to fill the gaps. And what I mean by this is obviously if you're creating a very small town or a small village, there's gonna be a lot of gaps on the map. If you're building a big city, obviously these gaps are less because you're building a lot more of a dense area. So what are in these gaps? Well, there's many things that can fulfill these gaps. Typically for towns and villages, certainly over Europe, you'll have a lot and a lot of farmlands. Whether these farms are for farming of crops and wheat and barley, or more pastoral farming for raising animals such as cows and sheep. Whichever you choose, there are so many varieties you can do. You can go very heavily detailed with this, or you can pretty much just do very simple things such as adding a hedge line across. Now I found this to be so much more realistic. Such a simple thing as adding a line of hedges or trees across some of the grassland really does take shape and makes things look a lot more detailed. You can also fill the gaps with other aspects. You can add in a river, a stream, a lake. You can even add a huge forest or even add a big range of mountains. The possibilities are endless and just make sure what you decide to do fits the theme of what you're building. My final point is gonna be in regards to detailing. Now for me personally, the detailing side of my build is the most exciting part. It's where I feel that I can create the most realism. But having said that, you don't have to go ultra detailing to make things look realistic. So long as you get the right aspects in and make it look not too crowded, things will look great. And remember, you're going for realism here. You're not going for perfection. And I really wanna make that point too because I remember back in the day I had issues with this. Certainly when I started building the Monaco series, I was always trying to make things look perfect. But what is perfection in this game? It's not really a thing in that respect because we're building inside a game. It's not real life. And to be fair, you could quite easily build something that you don't think is perfect, but to someone else's eyes, it is. So when it comes to this aspect, just detail to the degree that you want. Check out other YouTubers, check out Google Earth, you'll certainly find some aspects to add in to make things look realistic. Now, this is just my opinion on how I try and create more realistic towns and villages. And if you want to see my current builds on how I have developed these into my own builds, do check out the channel and check out the running series at the moment. And do let me know in the comment section your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have I missed anything out that's very key for your own way of building realistic towns and villages? Hit me up in the comment section and share your thoughts. But until next time, I hope this video has been of some help to you. Happy building and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.